Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of That Nerdy Site Plays, continuing my playthrough with Skyrim stuff. Um, uh, in the last, uh, uh, last episode, I wrapped up the Thieves Guild questline, um, and uh, and then I just kind of, in between episodes, I started just doing a bunch of uh, uh, a bunch of just the various Thieves Guild jobs, because uh, I remembered that's how you like unlock better things in the Ragged Flagon. Uh, and in particular, uh, I eventually got prompted with the Dainty Slowed uh, job, where uh, I'm now going to do kind of a special Thieves Guild job here in Solitude. So, uh, bonus Thieves Guild story quest kind of thing. Uh, so, we're here in Solitude. We're going to go speak with Eric Herr. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Bryling's obsession with honor and tradition is quaint, but politically irrelevant. Yes, great. Uh, Devin Mallory said you have work for me. About time you got here. I'm not accustomed to dealing with people who are unreliable. That's why I asked Delvin to send me his best. Well, I am the, like, head of the Thieves' Guild, so that's why he sent me. Huh. That remains to be seen. Nothing raises my ire more than having an agreement broken. It's bad for business, and it wastes time. Captain Volf of the Dainty Slode has decided to test my patience on this matter by neglecting to honor a trade agreement we had established. I assume this is where I enter the picture. I need you to help me show him the error of his ways by sneaking on board the slowed and planting some contraband. What sort of contraband? You'll need to get your hands on some Belmora Blue from Sabine Niet down by the docks. She's the first mate on another ship, the Red Wave. Once you get your hands on it, I want you to plant it in Captain Volf's footlocker. I'll take care of the rest. Consider it done. Captain Volp is ashore right now, and I want the authorities waiting for him when he gets back. Now get going. I don't want to see your face until the job's done. Oh. Uh, yeah. There's pirates. Do you have any information on the Then there's the crew of the Red Wave. They're in a class by themselves. They usually make runs along the coast, shipping all sorts of contraband to and from Morrowind. Rumor has it they can get you anything for the right price. What exactly is Not sure. Blue? I know that it starts with moon sugar, but all sorts of other ingredients are added to increase its potency. Used to be a lucrative underworld commodity when Belmora was still standing. Now the stuff is beyond valuable. It's also very illegal. Anyone caught with Belmora blue looks forward to rotting in jail for a very long time. All right. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. All right, so we're going to do some ship heisting. I mostly deal with ship to ship robberies. <clears throat> I mean, I could probably just duck out here. To the ships. So yes, we'll go ahead, head down to the East Empire Warehouse. You talk to Ed Brothers. DJ has no words for you. That's wonderful, DJ. Thanks. I don't care. Um, so it looks like we're gonna get on the ship by going on the other side of the docks here. Get this lady, I'm guessing. Uh, um. There we go, and there we go. Excellent. <laughs> nice 
Next bit of stealing of stuff from her. Secured the Balmora Blue in the chest under the wave, just like you asked. With the best lock on it, gold can buy. Just remember that we're splitting the profit. Okay, so basically put it in a... I mean, might as well just steal all this other stuff while I'm here. So, she's got it in a chest down under, under the ship. Good thing I grabbed both of those. then. I'm just going to go for a swim. There we go. Balmora Blue. Alright, so now we got the Balmora Blue. Now let's <laughs> throw it on the other ship. Finally pulled out that spell that gives you the uh, the path to your new location. Clairvoyance, but it is a very costly one. <laughs> but if I want to start leveling up the spell power, might as well use it a little bit. And that's the dainty slowed. Yes, indeed. Ooh, that's some nightshade. No, death. Hello there. You just gonna attack me if I come anywhere nearby? Is that is that how you roll? Just turn invisible then for a few seconds. Let's sneak on in.
Nice meeting you, Corsairs. Sorry, I had to kill you all. Nothing personal. There's gonna be more of them, aren't there? Yep. Bye, first mate. I mean, I feel like I, I can, I can take the footlocker key, or I can try and like pick the lock. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick the lock. Grabbing here. The holds of Skyrim. Yeah, probably already opened that. Oh, hey. I uh, also picked up a Stone of Berenzia last, uh, uh, in between episodes. So I've got, I started that quest. So there's my second one. Second stone of Brins there whatever. Whatever it is. All the gems. All the gems to find. Bunch of dead bodies that I kill. In there, hey, look, there's a biography and everything. For a, a second, my mind flashes on why do they have a boy's tunic on this ship? Hmm. A gold diamond ring. Lovely. Okay. 
I'll duck out. Let's see if we can sneak up back off the boat before they uh, they seize me. All right, good. So let us report back to our buddy. Be like, yo, maybe you should go check that ship. Hey, you already came Let out. me guess. Someone stole The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. I've planted the contraband on the da dainty load. Yes, I know. In fact, by now, Captain Volf should be on his way to the prisons. Our contract is complete. Here's a token of my gratitude for your efforts. Oh, convey my compliments to Delvin for me. Tell him I'll be happy to reopen whatever doors he needs in solitude. Excellent. Thank you so much. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. Wait, the reward he gave me was the Sparks Tome? A spell I've had since, like, the second episode of this show? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that's a... That's a thing you could give, thanks. Um, so let's make our way back to Devlin and report the good news that solitude is open for business yet again. that special solitude job. Erica assures me that Captain Wolf will spend pretty much the rest of his life clapped in irons. Best of all, he's also pledged to open doors for us in solitude and to get things rolling again. I think you'll find that the guild is beginning to grow. We've had a merchant move into the space right outside the flagon. It's nice to shake off the cobwebs and get things rolling again. Keep this up and I can see a bounty headed our way. Also, I completed that Couldn't have done it better myself. Here's your coin. Bad time. Bring your... We want to wait like a shipment on the way. Here's everything you need. There we go. You get cool. But we've never heard of you. Pick up a new job. I have work if you've got the backbone. Grab one from Vex. Got plenty. Take your pick. Good. Got a buyer in a rush. Good. Just remember the order. Do job first, get drunk second. Even if now you're one of us, you hey, trouble. we've got a new merchant over here. I've got all sorts of weapons for the discerning marksman. What can I get you? What can you get me, Cindus? Take a look. Sounds like arrows. Excellent. Lots and lots of arrows. And some ore. I always like to grab some uh, iron ore so I can go do... Just, you know, make some simple iron daggers mm -hmm. to keep boosting up my, uh, my smithing so that I can do more and more good. So, cool. Uh, all right, well, that is, that's going to do it for this episode. Just a, a, a quick little one to, uh, yeah, a little bonus Thieves Guild. Maybe I'll uh, you know, keep circling back in as I do more and more to open up more and more segments of uh, of our little uh, little little shops here. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for joining me. Find new Let's Plays from us every Tuesday and Thursday here on YouTube.com/slash That Nerdy Site. As always, stay nerdy and be good to each other. <laughs>